All right, guys, I appreciate you checking out my 01 C2 manual, 120,000 miles. Uh, this walk around video, I really hope everybody who wants to bid on this car watches it because it's going to be extremely important as far as pointing out the imperfections on this car. I don't want anyone to get it and then you know I didn't know about this and that's like this whole thing so please please stick with me this video might be a little long watch it it will save us all lots of time tons of time so I want to start out again this back bumper has been painted and for who knows why it was painted on the car because we have overspray on the exhaust you could get that off um, you use some lacquer thinner it didn't bother me to the point where I thought I was going to spend time on it and then we have these LED tail lights which actually look nice uh, they don't code or throw any error, message, error messages anything along those lines uh, so it does have the upgraded center caps it came on the newer ones uh, the wheels are in pretty good shape. Uh, the dra passenger rear does have some uh, curbing, but it's not bad uh, when you consider it's no one. So there is a spot here. It's hard to show. I mean, you can see it. Uh, it's like some oxidation on the paint. I don't really know. And I got it like that, so I couldn't tell you exactly what happened. But I want to make sure everyone knows have this on the driver's front fender. On the hood, there is also some oxidation. It's really hard to see, but you have to take my word for it, it's there. Like, I'm assuming this car sat outside, uh, maybe leaves sat on it. Um, in this area here, again, it's really, in and down here, it's really hard to see. Um, and I just want to point it out because I don't want anybody to get it and they're like, oh, I didn't know. So even though it's hard to see, you just have to take my word for it, it's there. Um, I would think a good paint correction, something along those lines would probably clean most of this up. Um, or you can absolutely not worry about it. The car presents well, runs great, drives great. It's kind of one of those things. Do you spend... Do you worry about it or just enjoy the car? I vote for just enjoy the car. So again, really important. We all know we have some oxidate. Not, I don't even know if I'd call it oxidation. It's like, it looks like the car sat outside and it's like the, the leaves and debris or whatever sat, sat on, the, uh, on the flat area of the trunk. Okay, on the passenger window, we have some Nicks in the tint. If I had to guess, uh, the window regulator was probably replaced. And when the window was going back in, this happened as it's very common. I see it all the time. Tinted windows. Not just in Porsches, but when you do window regulators and you take the glass out. And I'm not going to say they weren't careful. It's just kind of one of those, one of those things. Okay, so walk around this side. Okay, then I also want to point out on the passenger seat bottom, we have this little, like a rectangle, like maybe something sat on there for a while and indented itself. And then there's some wear here. I see this all the time on 996s and 986s. It's not really a conditioning thing, it's just the leather kind of gets these little lines in it and it hardens a little bit. Um, and there's a little over here. I couldn't even tell you what causes it. I guess a car being 20 something years old causes it. Okay, so that's the main things I wanted to point out. Oh yeah, and when I got the car, it had Porsche letters on the back. Like somebody added them. I 
managed to get all of them off pretty problem free except for the E. It did take some of the clear off right here. Right here. So for orientation, there's the A of the Carrera. Truck deck down to the right. So I want to make sure we're all aware of that. Okay. So now we're going to move inside and we're going to do it around the interior cabin. Ooh, that heat feels good. Man. Okay, so the window drop down feature works on both windows. It's really important. It's super annoying when it doesn't work. My guess is, again, this regulator was recently replaced. Probably because the drop down feature quit working. So they put a regulator in, nick the tin. All our uh, compartments are in good shape. We don't have any broken hinges. This one, the center one likes to break. It's in good shape, hinge down there. Driver side, in good shape. I'm about to sneeze. Oh, excuse me. Put our mirrors, check. Lights. All right, so both the uh, sun visor covers are missing. That should be no surprise to anybody. Sunroof works. see that our lights are gonna go show the electronics here and it does like it does have the electronics which are like the early xenons which are great tail light tail light all right we got our dash lights Six degrees. Yeah, that's really cold for us. <laughs> uh, cruise horn wiper. It hasn't rained in a while. <laughs> uh, PSM. Typical. I live in the south and I don't listen to country. Windows. Windows. Seat operation. Tell that's moving forward. Seat back. Okay. And we're going to show the driver's seat. Pop. Good pop. Everything good. Nice tidy. Owner's manual. Toolkit. Car comes with two keys. One is like this valet key. Without a clicker, but it's good as a backup. Cup holders both work. Looks like these look like they were. I didn't replace it, but these look new. You can tell there's next to no wear. 
climate works. Heat and AC work perfectly. All of our gauges are functioning right where they should be. No lights on. Bolts are good. It's obviously in temp. Oil pressure is good. All right, it's a cool car. Hope it finds a good home. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.